It is a beautiful day today to go for a ride. Why don't you come along? So we're heading back to Shahola, Pennsylvania today. We're checking in on the guys. They are working diligently on the steps and walkway. And the steps are pretty much done from what I understand. The flagstone walkways are going in. And we're gonna see how they're doing. So come along for a ride. Doesn't this look beautiful? The variations in the colors and the lines are just stunning. But a gorgeous walkway like this requires quite a bit of skill. Once the design and prep work is done, it's all hands-on custom craftsmanship to put all of this together. Larger stones are strategically placed first to provide a sort of template for the rest of the stones. This continues to fill in the walkway until the measuring and cutting begin. Mike carefully marks the stone for cutting, making sure to leave just the right amount of room to fit crushed gravel, sand, or moss between the stones later on. Then it's passed over to Daniel, who carefully cuts the stone to size, even to the point of shaving them down by a fraction of an inch if needed. Instead of a clean look, these homeowners want a worn and weathered look to their walkway. So once the stone is cut down, Sean roughs up the edges a bit. What do you think of the rustic feel? Let us know in the comments what kind of look you'd go for. After Sean works his magic, it's back over to Mike. He'll place the stone and level it with the crushed rock underneath and tap it into place. While it's level with the rest of the walkway, there's a very slight pitch so water can run off the walkway. It's a long and involved process, but the results are worth every bit of it. Well, that's it for today. Got the stone all cut, but we need to come back, trim up a few last pieces, get the edges clean, and then we'll be ready to roll. All right, so we had a good day today. We finished the walkway in the back, all except for cutting the outside border, which hopefully we'll do tomorrow if the weather is good. Uh, we have another drain line to put on the ground tomorrow and we are going to start the retaining wall here which the stone is already on site. I ran the leaders from the gutters underneath the driveway and underneath our retaining wall. A lot of people have a lot of problems with drainage and water sitting in their yard so we made sure to get it underneath the driveway and out. Um, it's going to be all repaint so you won't even know it's under there. This walkway is coming along really nicely. Like Steve and Mike said, there are just a few more things to button up. I'm sure this is going to look stunning when it's done. Want more inspiration? Check out this next video. New content gets posted every Friday. And if you're liking the nature-inspired work we do, why not subscribe? Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.